In one of America's great national pastimes, this NFL quarterback has turned heads and brought controversy on himself simply by not standing to sing the Star Spangled Banner. Welcome to Watch Mojo News, the series where Watch Mojo brings you the news that should be on your radar. In this installment, we're looking at three things you should know about Colin Kaepernick's controversial stance on not standing during the performance. Number three, what's the big deal with the anthem? Anyone who's even heard of football ought to know that at the beginning of every game, everyone on the field and in the stands gets up and sings the national anthem of the United States, the Star Spangled Banner. So why did one quarterback for the San Francisco 49ers refuse to do so before a preseason game against the Green Bay Packers on August 26, 2016? In response to this exact question, Kaepernick stated that he refused to honor a flag and country that, in his eyes, stands for the oppression of African Americans and people of color throughout the United States, referring specifically to ongoing trends of police brutality and police officers, quote, getting away with murder, unquote. This isn't something that's a one-off case here, a one-off case there. This has become habitual, it's become a habit. Kaepernick's stance echoes a sentiment that's been growing in the country for many years now, as several high-profile police shootings involving African Americans have riled the national discourse. We love our children, we love our parents, our mothers, our fathers. They are brutalized and nobody says anything. It's too much. It's too much. Number two, is a football game really the best place to make this statement? Kaepernick's actions have unsurprisingly fallen under very harsh criticism, with some saying that he's missing the point of the flag, that he doesn't really understand what's going on with police officers in America, and that his protest is a slight against those who have served and fought for their country. On the other hand, athletes using their public recognition to bring light to social issues is nothing new. The legendary baseball player Jackie Robinson famously fought controversy as a black man in a white-dominated sport, and the image of John Carlos and Tommy Smith giving what was seen as a black power salute after winning medals at the 1968 Olympics has gone down in history. Sports have always been especially tied to patriotism, and even a simple action on the playing field can make serious shockwaves, as we are now seeing. My reaction when I first saw this was, you know, that guy needs to get out more. Number one, will Kaepernick's protest have an effect or is it just a lot of noise? I know what I'm doing what's right and I know other people see what I'm doing is right. Kaepernick has stirred the pot for sure, but after having potentially put his career in jeopardy, the question is what kind of effect it's really gonna have. As quickly as the controversy rose, support for Kaepernick's actions rose as well, with many veterans taking on the hashtag Veterans for Kaepernick. For every one supporter though, there seems to be someone else who is outraged by Kaepernick's move, with some calling him an idiot, and presidential candidate Donald Trump stating that the NFLers should maybe find a new country if this one doesn't work for him. Others have suggested Kaepernick knew that he stood to be cut from the team because of a significant weight loss following multiple surgeries, so they're saying that he chose this as his exit strategy, but ultimately misread the landscape. Others still have insinuated that Kaepernick is a hypocrite because he has accrued great wealth as a football player in the United States and therefore serves as a very poor example of oppression and doesn't have much of a leg to stand on in order to criticize America. Whereas he clearly thought his act of civil disobedience would come across as a commentary against police violence and profiling against blacks, many viewed it as an insult against the military, which is, they point out, the very institution that has fought and spilled blood to defend the flag. On August 31st, 2016, more vicious backlash arose against Kaepernick. This included an anonymous and off-the-record assertion from NFL execs that suggested that the hatred towards him is as great as that directed towards former Carolina Panthers wide receiver Ray Carruth, who was found guilty of conspiracy to commit murder against a woman carrying his unborn child. Despite this sentiment, the NFL has issued a statement, on the record, essentially saying that the players are not obliged to stand during the national anthem, and that the purpose of it during the pregame ceremony is to quote, honor our country unquote, and all the rights, liberties, and freedoms that it grants, including the freedom of religion and the freedom of expression. So what do you think of Kaepernick's protest? Is he fighting the good fight or wrongfully insulting an established institution? For more on what's happening right now, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. And there's Kaepernick being sleuthed out himself. Can't get free.